Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to farm for rat tails offline. Um, first and foremost, don't be in the rat covenant or otherwise the enemies that we're going to be farming won't be hostile, they won't come out and you won't be able to farm them. Um, aside from that, it's probably a good idea to have a covetous gold serpent ring plus zero, one or two and a headgear that raises item discovery. Um, you can also boost it further by using rusted coins. I generally don't bother because it's not that much of a boost, but um, yeah. So you need to be at the grave entrance bonfire in the uh, Grave of Saints, which is the bonfire just before the Royal Rat Vanguard boss fight, I believe. And yeah, it also helps to have a couple of um, Barrow's Lockstones with you because we're going to be opening up a couple of bridges. I've already opened them up, but I'll show you where to place them. So you place one here, and that brings down that bridge there. And you place one here, and that brings that bridge down there. So we've broken our general run, but I thought it was worthwhile to show you guys where we're going to be opening the bridges if you haven't already. Because a lot of these Pharos Lockstone locations in the Grave of Saints are just straight up traps. So you really do need to be careful. There'll be pools of corrosive liquid that ruins your armor and stuff like that. And just stuff that sucks. Okay, the regular run involves going straight across the bridge. So we're gonna do just that. Now sometimes a phantom will summon here. Um, if you're on the Covenant of Champions, if you knock him off the bridge, that is a um, pretty tried and true mana for getting ore stones easily. Now these rat guys can drop all sorts of things from radiant life gems and um, poison green moss um, and rat tails obviously. You can also drop Warmth, which is a Pyromancy, which is strange that they drop that at all. Drop something else important, I just cannot remember what it is. Where do you think you're going, buddy? It's a poison boss. Okay, these guys in here that we can see don't come out until we go back to the doorway. Poison moss. Man, this is a bad run. It's alright, we'll do another quick run. Just so you can see that they actually drop them. And if I don't get in that run, I'll cut ahead to a run I do get them in. These rats also drop repair powder as well, so between old radiant life gems, um, poison moss, rats tails, and repair powder, this is a pretty decent area to spend a little bit of time grinding just to make life easier on yourself in the game in general. That's a repair powder now. And a rat's tail. And another rat's tail. The rat tails have the lowest drop rate because, well, they're the most sought after game uh, item that they drop. I really do love how FromSoft put in ways for people to play their games just in case they don't have the internet connection. So you can farm for your sunlight metals, you can do your Bell's Keeper's Covenant. And for the other covenants that require PvP and stuff like that, um, the rank up rewards are available from the Ghost Merchant in Drenglaic Castle in New Game Plus Plus. 
bonfire aesthetics don't work. You have to actually finish the game two times, but still. Saves people a whole mess of trouble. Ooh, another one. Rat, 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 ease. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Man. The ratties. That's like... Frickin' early 90s cartoon. From Britain, I believe. Ah, another rat's tail. Sweet. Three in one run. That's pretty good. Now, don't be disheartened if you don't see more than... Well, if you don't get one drop per run. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. It's just the way it is, unfortunately. But, yeah, I hope that guy... That, uh helps you guys farm up your rat tails without having to do any covenant quote-unquote fun and yeah happy hunting praise that sun